Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back. Today I am in my Sprouted Planner, the 2024 Daily Planner, and I'm doing a plan with me. And I'm going to preface this by saying that this is not pretty, there's not going to be deco. I'm simply coming in here to you to show how I functionally utilize this planner. So I'm gonna start with a flip through of like the previous week. Um, I'm still getting a handle on the Week at a Glance page. It's not something I've ever used in the past. I'm trying some different things with it to see if it can be functional for me. Um, so I put my meals down here. I try to put big events on the daily thing. I wanted a weekly to-do list, but the reality is I don't flip back to that page. So I just carry my to-do list items on the daily pages. Um, appointments. I block out times when I know I'm in meetings. Notes. I had a kiddo start an antibiotic for an ear infection. I had a kiddo who wasn't feeling great at school, so I made a note of that. Kiddo stayed home. Random notes down here. To-do list. Specific appointments. So it's just, it's very functional. So I'm gonna come in and we're going to go ahead and set up for the week of the 12th through the 18th. So, um, again, this is his last day of his meds. Um, you know, I have a note up there for the week that he needs some um, treats for, for Valentine's Day. Because I want, I'm not really into pink, but I think I'm going to come in with a red marker, at least for the days, and I'm going to put in the appointments that I have. This just kind of, I don't, again, I'm not really sure how well I like this, but it kind of just gives me an idea of, oh, I'm going to be somewhere. I don't necessarily know off the top of my head, but I know that I don't have a straight up office day. So, you know, like last week when I got a message that I had a kiddo not feeling well, I was like, okay, the next day I have nothing to do other than, you know, I have nothing, I have no appointments that I have to leave my office for. So it felt pretty doable from just looking at that to say... I can, you know, I'll take care of it. Um, so then I have a few Zoom trainings. And I'm going to put those. Label those like that. Just, again, travel not required, but... Um, So putting my appointments in. I add my to-do list as I go. I definitely don't put those things in um, ahead of time because I want to make sure, you know, that it's pertinent for the, if I put a to-do list in for each day, it would probably fill up and change again before, you know, before we even got to that day. So I do try to put... My writing is just a little bit bigger than it should have been for there, but that's okay. Um, then I know that on every, so 
said, we don't, I don't have a lot of stuff that actually needs to go in to put a note here that is work related but every two weeks I have to submit my timesheets on the opposite of pay weeks so yeah and like I said I, I like doing the flip through because there's not much here for setup as far as you know there's not much for appointments or things that I actually have to put in here um, actually I am gonna make a note on this page and I'm going to change the color because I want to there is on um, on Kindle I've started some books book series and the the rest of the stuff hadn't been released yet so I'm making myself a note there that um, that there's a book releasing that day so I can go check on it. And then, yeah, any notes that I have for the day, any to-do list, any other things that come up will end up here on the planner and I will um, show you as we get to that point. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'd love to hear what you're using for a planner and how it's working for you so far for the year. So thank you guys so much. Bye.